Hello everyone, this is Panda John, Panda John Adventures. Hey John, say something. Look at the mall, see what we can find. We're looking in the mall. There's a tree. Here's some of the decorations. We'll try to walk here and see if we can. If you, if you turn it up, you start recording, then you go south. This way? No, you turn it up. You, oh, you, are you not recording? Yeah. Oh. I am. If, if you turn it after you start recording, the video will save it. Okay. So if, if you start that way, that's fine. <laughs> so now everybody's got to look at turn it again. Okay. Try to look at all the um, decorations here in the mall. Hey, we're pausing a minute. Do you see where your thing is right there? Now, when, when you watch the video, see about that. Oh. You had it this way. You had it there. I did. I, I did turn it this way. I know, but you had the thing over. Okay. Yeah. The video was that way. <laughs> we're at the mall, just walking around, just looking at the Christmas decorations. And here's Santa. Here's Santa's chair. He's not here today. I don't know when he's going to be back. He'll be back uh, Saturday and Sunday. He'll be back. Here's Santa. He had to go to the North Pole. Look at the. They are just beautiful. Hey, John, he's got to get up, Pop. He's thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> we'll catch a snowman over here. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? It's just beautiful. Little Christmas village. Oh man, that's pretty. And we're just gonna keep on walking. We're gonna go down here. Yep, plates up there. It's all decorated. This will work. Another tree. And that lights down there. And a beautiful tree. Say, please. Pretty. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you, you, you see, it's all decked out for Christmas. Oh, that Christmas shop was right here. Oh, um. You mean where the Halloween store was? Was that down there? I remember. Just walking down toward the end here. Um, this is a pretty, pretty big mall. 
Oh, I look them all. Now most of the stores are closed in here right now. So, oh, let's go down here. Let's go down here. Let's see what's down here. There's another entrance. You just want to, just want to get the. That's cute. Have links, and then they got the ice up there over on top. There's John. Hey, yeah, it's snowing pretty good out there. Yeah, it's been yeah, so we're gonna head home now, and there we just walk through and see if there's anything here. But I guess there's nothing here, so yeah, we're just a, gonna head home. There used to be a store in one of these stores. Wasn't yeah. It? So we're just gonna head home, and that we just give you a tour of the lights. Um, so, this is Pam and John, Pam and John Adventures, so, uh, have a great day, and literally. So we're heading home, and we're gonna head home now. So, and of all times, it was a beautiful winter weather out here. Oh, look at this! Oh, we thought we just do a little. Oh, did you fall? Good when we got here, but it's starting to slow down a little bit now. But it's it's still cold. Um, we're over there. Door already. You can see on my feet, you got quite a bit. It just coming, it was coming down pretty fast. So, now I've got to brush off the car, and then there's the car, and here's all our stuff we've been doing today. We did laundry. All three things at Kohl's. Yeah, so John <laughs> found some stuff at Kohl's. <laughs> so, so anyway, we're gonna head home and it's gonna get, I guess, I don't know what time it is. About 4.30? Probably 4.30 or so. So, yep, here's, the, as you tell, there's like, mm, I don't know, how much, how much snow do you think is out here? It's toward my ankles. So, it's a, uh, About eight, about eight inches or so. Five inches. Well, look at look at out here now. Out here in the parking lot, you, over here to the, my on my side of the door. There's a lot of snow over here. It's up to my boots. Yeah, we're supposed to get. So John's gonna brush out the car, and we're we're gonna head home. So um. Oh, there's a tree, there's a tree wheel there. There's a lot of star on it. So we're going to head home and then I'll uh, go we'll have our supper and nice hot supper. Oh, that's a, that's a long 
Yeah, we can watch it. We're gonna watch TV and. Alright, let's do that. Yeah. So anyway, here this is the the beautiful outdoors of the UP. <laughs> so this is what we this is what we gotta put up with. But oh well. But anyway, my name is John, and we're gonna sign off and say later. Eh? Uh, just, hello, um, I'm just making a quick video of, um, my Christmas decorations. Um, just want to give you a few, um, shots of my Christmas stuff. And I got it all decorated, finally. I finally got it all done. Um, this all lights up, but I don't, I don't have it lit up right now, so. But it's all my lighted stuff. And then over on the other table, I'm probably going to have more. I will have bleh, more stuff. And there's a doorway. And here's our tree. Here's our tree. This other way. And this is our, just our little tree that we got. Just a tabletop tree. And we got these. Just, and, and then, and I got these up here. So I, I, I'm pretty well decorated. I think it's in and then I got some stuff on the door. So just a quick video just to say uh, Merry Christmas and hope you have a great Christmas. This is Pam, Pam and John uh, signing out. Later, eh? Hello, YouTube. We're uh, waking up to below zero temperatures today. The apartment's beginning to look, look a lot like Christmas. I'm gonna go over this way here, turn the TV off so you can hear me. Well, I was almost done. I got these, a little bit of clothes left. We got the place all set for, almost all set for the holidays. We gotta get our kitchen a little better, but we got decorations all over and like I said, if I got those last uh, five, five or six pieces of clothing there, that'd be totally done. Uh, coming in here. I was getting ready to go to work today, but uh, just can't go in there. But anyway, that's uh, what we got going on. And the uh, reason for the sit for the video here is an intro to the bag sale that I'm going to do today. There's a bag sale at the uh, local St. Vincent. So even though I'm almost caught up, I can't pass out a bag sale. It's like less less than 50 cents for a piece of clothing. Um, and we do try to sell a lot of clothes. So, well, I made it to St. Vincent. It's pretty cold out. There's a lot of traffic for some reason on a Saturday. Uh, not a lot of cars in the parking lot. Um, Pam said she read on the Facebook page that there's a uh, bag sale for uh, four dollars a bag today. So we're hoping uh, to get some decent inventory, like many more. <laughs> but I might do some footage inside. Otherwise, the next thing you see will either be one of Pam's videos or a haul. Got two bags full. That's eight bucks. The same as the store there. Uh, four dollars a bag, so eight dollars for twenty-two items. Not too bad. That's about thirty something cents each. Hopefully they're all good. I'll do a haul when I get home, either tonight or probably early tomorrow, and we'll see where we go from there. Well, just in addition to our Christmas decorations here. That's something that I put together the other day and Pam did a little touch up when she came home and we got some uh, different items here. I have this train set that I've been trying to sell on eBay for some time now and last year it was worth about 50 to 70 bucks, now it's worth about 5 so. Plus I realized it was broken when I went to check it out. So, it's ours now. <laughs> Rain and 
The little bears. The little bear thing does work if you push it, but. It looks really cool at night, but we got it during the day, so. And all the rest are still here. And this is a little dirt now, too. And of course, over here, but a lot of it starts to keep falling. But that's our decorations right now. The rest of them are all the same. So, later. Hey, hey YouTube. Here's the haul portion of the video. Um, today, I woke up uh, around 8 this morning. And uh, Pam told me there was a bag sale at St. Vincent. And of course she had to work at 9. <laughs> so she wasn't able to go to it. Um, I stopped in there after I dropped her off. I went st almost straight there. I stopped and got gas for the car and uh, a little bit of breakfast because I hadn't eaten yet. And um, it's around noon now. I got home about an hour ago. I did a sold video and I checked some other things, some other items sold, uh, which are on the sold video I just made. But I got two bags of clothing. There was 22 items all together, so it's 11 per bag. Um, I averaged it out to about 30, between 30 and 40 cents per item, so let's say, just say 40 cents. I think it was 36 cents uh, per item, so that's a pretty good um, amount of uh, items for the price I paid. But I'll just go from the top here and work my way down. I think I'm going to detag them as I go, so I'll save a little time. So, there's that. And this is called, um, it's a brand called At Last, it's a large, and it is a woman's, you can see it's uh, not a very big shirt, for, you know, as most women know. If I really had to, I could get into it, but I'm not going to try that. <laughs> That's a flannel, and I figure I'll get about 15, maybe 20 bucks for it. And, you know, considering I only paid 36 cents, it's not bad. I could feel a little something here. I wasn't sure what that was, it must have been a button. I thought there was some design on top, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, next up. Uh, I think a lot of women's, their, their women's clothes were kind of like, they were kind of, I kind of felt like I was in a, like a old store from the 70s. Uh, this anyway, it's uh, Dana Buckman, which I know is, uh, I think a Target brand, I'm not sure, but they uh, do sell for us, strange enough. And, you know, a lot of the clothing in those department stores are getting better because they have to compete with the brand names. <laughs> um, this one, Worthington, large. I like when you snap like that. It's good. You just rub that little area where the hole was and it mostly goes away. Anyway, and it's just a little kind of tank top like thing that's probably going to. Be in our inventory for a little while, but people do have to wear those clothes, wear those under their clothes. So, and this one is a jersey, is large. Now, this was in the women's section, and it does look like a women's style. Got it again, but if a man wore it, I wouldn't think that much, you know, too big about it. So, yeah, and these days you can wear whatever you want. I mean. That we got a few people here in town that walk around and some clothes I would never wear, but they <laughs> they wear. Have to be a little careful when you when you pull on these because sometimes if they don't come right away off of the clothing, then uh, you can take a chance of ripping them. And I don't recommend using your teeth, but I do it <laughs> anyway. Uh, this is called. Uh, Boy Meets Girl is the brand name, which is strange enough. And it's just a cardigan. Tag it or not. There you go. And just a nice little cardigan sweater with uh, no buttons. <laughs> so it's just made to wear, be worn open. Uh, okay, this is green. And like Aristotle, or what family is called Aeropostle for some reason. <laughs> Aeropostle, or Aeropostle, so I say. Anyway, just a t shirt, one is large. Again, it could be worn by a man. I wouldn't uh, like anything different at first. Uh, Burks Brothers, which 
I've been strangely enough finding a lot of that lately. Uh, this is probably the second item in the last two hauls that I've had, which, considering that we never see the brand around here at all. Uh, looking at Tiger Curl up as an XL sweater, very thin sweater. Nice color on it. Might go just for the color alone. <laughs> Another apostle. Uh, I think I have like two of the same size shirt. I may not put them right here together, but no, this one's different. Uh, there are a few things I picked up that may or may not be lots, considering the price I paid for them. If I sold them a lot for you know two for twenty or something like that, it'd still be a good profit for me. Uh, Carhartt. This is a good uh, work brand. A lot of people like these shirts to wear all the time. It's a large. It's a pretty good size large though. I could probably, I'm a 2XL myself and I could probably wear this. Next up we got a Relax Fit Tommy Bahama. And this is a large as well. I don't really look too much at the smalls because uh, we don't sell a lot of smalls when we get them. Although we, we do have some. It depends on the item as well. It always does. Uh, this is a Winchester, which I never even thought of uh, looking for. Um, I was told it was a hunting brand, which kind of explains the camouflage. <laughs> That's a Winchester. It's a. It's a It's like a fleece uh, jacket. If I don't go, I'll probably just keep that myself. And the first bag is done. We got the last item of that one. This is a chaps. And it's not a hole. It's a long sleeve chaps. And I want to get this up fairly soon because uh, the long sleeve stuff sells pretty good around this time of year. Especially uh, for some reason in January, I saw a lot of them. Um, people like to wear them like graduations and different parties and that. Alright, the next bag now. This one here is got a tag that says The Duck Company, which is a brand I never ever heard of. But I thought I kind of like the graphic on it. The double sided shirts seem to sell fairly good for our store. Again, it depends on what it says. I mean, you know, if, it, if it said something profanity or whatever, it probably sorry. But uh, this is a Geek Squad, which I know is um, Best Buy is, uh, you know, thing. But it's a good quality jacket, and somebody that likes Geek Squad or works for Geek Squad might want a jacket. I'll have to look up. What they're, I know there was one up there for like 40 on eBay already, but let's see what they are new. If I get 44 plus shipping, that's pretty good because it was 40 plus uh, 79 shipping. Uh, I'll see you, Jamax. That's one of the women's items. It's one of those little. The Dickie in there. Mock Dickie. Whatever. That's what I call it. <laughs> uh, this one I got from the women's section. And I'm going to guess it probably. Is a women's, but I have seen men wear these kind of things as well, so it could be either. You know, if you wear like a tie and a dress shirt under it, you could wear it. But it's a classic Tommy Hilfiger. It's got the classic label on it, and it's got the colors, you know, the red and blue on the thing itself. Another one of the pants favorite teams. Unfortunately, it's too small for her. But we don't mind selling them. Maybe Packers. That's yeah, NFL apparel. Uh, also, I usually go for anywhere from 12 to 14. Uh, again, not a huge sale seller, but uh, I might put up for for 16 and I can take an offer. But usually, I get $11 offer that. 
That's an Umbro shirt, for, and it says England on the front as well. I don't know what, what this is. I think it's probably from soccer or football. Um, it's a long sleeve, and it's interesting looking, so I thought maybe somebody might see it and like it. Um, I used to pick these up all the time, but I haven't seen one for a while. But I'll see what that one's going for. If I can't find the exact one, I'll probably just put it up for 19 and hope, hope for the best. I might just try it at an auction, see if people get interested in it or not. Uh, so Chico Design, it's got, it's like a brown cardigan. Uh, it's a woman's size 3, so that would be their extra large. Okay, next one is a yellow t-shirt. NFL apparel. Size of an XL. There's the tag print inside. And it's another Packers. Kind of like the one I just sold a little while ago. I just sold one that had like a pendant on the front. Didn't get a lot of money for it, but it sold. A sale is a sale. As long as I'm willing to take the amount they offer and I let it go for whatever price they offer me. See, that's what you gotta be careful with when you do that kind of thing. Because I just put a hole in this one. It's only 40 cents, so it's not that big of a deal, but. I don't think somebody's going to want with that hole in the back of it. But that's a Lions 81. I'll probably still do it. But I'll just put that there's a hole right there. That might end up uh, going back. That was my fault. It wasn't the fault of the store. A lot of times when we do the bag sales, we end up returning like half of it. But, or not, I wouldn't say half, maybe 20% of it. So I wish they wouldn't put these in there at all because there's no reason for them. <laughs> uh, Ralph Lauren Large. That's just a pullover fleece. Well, that's what I got for now. Um, trying to do the videos a little bit quickly. This one about 12 minutes. I'm going to go a little bit over because I'm going to talk a little bit. Uh, but that was two bags of clothes for uh, $8 for two bags. $4 a bag. And uh, came up to like $0.37 cents per item. For 22 items and with the exception of the shirt that I just ripped uh, we should get at least 10 bucks for everything so uh, you figure 22 times 10 is 210 bucks and some we're getting more than 10 for I mean that's just a low end if, um, if I wanted to say 20 even then that'd be 400 and, you know something so uh, anyway that's what we got for now um, I don't know if uh, this is gonna be the last video or not but if it is Give us a thumbs up and let us know what you like about the video in the comments below. If you do, give us a thumbs down, let us know why. I mean, if we're doing something you don't like, let us know. Say something. We haven't got any comments yet. Um, I don't know if it's just because we're new or um, what what the idea of that is. But we do have, we do have three uh, subscribers. Um, I know who one of them is, uh, but I don't know who the other two are. Uh, the only reason I know who the one is because our other account is one of the subscribers. So. <laughs> but anyway. Um, you know, if you are a subscriber, let me know. Let me know why you watch the channel. Let me know who you are. Uh, if there's any questions you have on what we do or why we do it, that's uh, a good place to do it. Uh, one of these days we're going to try a live show, but we got to get probably at least 100 subscribers before we can do that so we can actually have somebody to converse with while we're live. Or we might just do it live and see if anybody pops up. Uh, we can send out, you know, some messages to people. Uh, we would like to do a video with other resellers as well, if we can figure out how to do that. Um, I know we watched uh, where there's like two, three, four, five, six people on, on the screen all at the same time, all in their own little square on the screen, and uh, you just chime in when you have something to say. <laughs> anyway, later, eh? YouTube land. Uh, hopefully you're uh, watching our videos. Uh, so you know what's coming here. <laughs> if not, my name is John. My wife's name is Pam. We uh, we sell things on eBay. Um, we've tried to sell things on Etsy and Amazon with some results. And we've done some other different things to uh, thread up and Craigslist and all that good stuff. But anyway, right now what I'm doing is a solo video. So basically I'm just holding my camera 
up to my computer because I haven't learned how to screen capture yet. <laughs> uh, this is what's sold this week. There might be a few things in here that were in our, that were in our last sold videos. I don't remember how long ago it was, but I tried to go back to the 13th till now, and today is the 16th. So, um, we got this shirt here. It was a Flintstones rocking around a Christmas tree. I was going to actually wear this at a Christmas party this year. But I listed it to see if somebody would want it, and it's sold for eleven nineteen. So it's gone. <laughs> um, so that's that one. Uh, this American Eagle hoodie sold for eighteen eighty nine. Um, it costs uh, six thirty to send it in a padded flat rate. So after shipping, we got uh, twelve and some change. Um, this costs, I think it was two dollars at a. No, actually, no. I took that back. This cost uh, 50 cents at a bag sale. Because it was one of 10 items at a $5 bag sale. So, those hoodies take up a lot of room in the uh, thing. And you can see it was, you know, it looks like a, a classic hoodie, but it's actually just made that way. And I don't Let's see. This one, I had an offer on this one one day if I was able to send out the same day. But I wasn't able to because I wasn't home. And I told him I could send it next day, but he never replied. And then the next day I got an offer for 840 for it. So I was, good, I was good to go with that. Um, I actually bought this one last year, and nobody bought it, so it's been sitting in our inventory. Um, I relisted it last month, and it's sold. Uh, this one, 1339, this is a PFG Columbia. Um, a shout out and a thank you to Rally Roots for pointing these out to me, because I never really gave them too much of a look. Uh, but I picked this one up, and it sold for 1399, which I know is not a great thing. It was on sale for 19 from 19. Um, but we're just trying to most inventory right now because we have a lot. Uh, this one was one that I had an $11 offer on but I had automatic decline set on it. And I tried to get the person to buy it for 11 and they just didn't. <laughs> um, but it was on sale for 11 up until uh, Wednesday and then on Thursday morning my phone should change and it sold for $14.99. So I was fine with that. It's a band called Dark Souls. And it's got some graphics to it. I've never heard of the band be myself before I got the shirt, but that's that. Uh, this one is a Reebok uh, Sales Seahawks, eighteen ninety nine. I was very surprised they sold for that much. We've had this in our inventory for probably eight months. I want to say. Um, I don't know for sure. I'm just going off the top of my head there, but eighteen ninety nine for a T-shirt, pretty cool. This one I just listed uh, it was actually this morning, about uh, 12.30 this morning, so last night. Um, it's 2XL, it's got a picture of the girl on the front for Harley Davidson, and it's got the uh, back picture is uh, Northern Lights uh, and Arbor Vitale, Vitale, Wisconsin. Uh, but anyway, um, I had it for $19.99, and I took an offer of 15 I figured I might as well... Get the inventory out. It's a fast sale. This one I got a couple weeks ago. I paid uh, 85 cents for it. Uh, the uh, shirts at Goodwill are a dollar 57. Um, as long as they're not the as long as they're not the high quality shirts, like the basic quality shirts. Uh, the high quality ones are four dollars, but the basic ones are a dollar 57. This was half price, so 88 cents after uh, shipping or after tax. Sorry. Uh, 12 Um, I did get that for it. Um, it was on sale twelve seventy nine. I got seven seventy nine. But we've had, you know, it's kind of a. It has a classic look to it, and I, I was, not sure about buying it at first, and it's been in our inventory for a little while, so, I think I listed it, um, on the sixteenth uh, of last month. So it's just about done. <laughs> uh, okay, now going to a different site. This is uh. The one with Pam's name on it. And uh, this was actually a Halloween shirt. Now, if you look at the close ups there, you can see little spider webs and bats. It says, This is my grandma costume. This sold for seven bucks. Um, it was something we put up for Halloween, didn't sell. And we figured if somebody still wanted it, might as well get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, this is a Ralph Lauren Polo um, women's sweater, v neck. Nice sweater, but uh, we do good with Ralph Lauren. They're, it's a good company. and. I know the polos are a bit oversaturated on uh, line right now, but everything else sells really well still. But anyway, eleven eighty nine. 
Um, I believe this went first class. It wasn't super heavy. So, not too bad. Uh, 770 for this one. Not, not a big uh, moneymaker fashion bug, but I um, figure I think we spent maybe a dollar for this shirt. So, or less. <laughs> uh, 11 bucks for this one. Again, it went first class. It was real light. Um, so, Pink Republic. Uh, which is not sure exactly if that's a good brand or not. Uh, when I first picked it up, I thought it was pink from Victoria's Secret. Or maybe a Banana Republic throw-off, but I think it's actually just a name that has those two words in it. <laughs> anyway, lead box for that one. Next. This is uh, another Chaps long sleeve. We only got $11 for this one, and I really don't know why um, I put it so cheap. I think I might have made a mistake. I think I was trying to get 21 But it sold. I sent it out. I'm not going to say no to somebody, even if it's a mistake for me. It's my mistake, especially I'm not going to say no, because... Somebody who already has his heart set on a shirt as a Christmas present or, or for themselves, and I don't want to deny them that. This one uh, we had up for a couple days. It's a J. Jill. Um, it went out yesterday, I believe. Uh, or day, day before yesterday. No, it went out yesterday. It ended on the 14th. I usually do the next day because I don't know. He's home. Uh, but it has a snowflake on the front there, and it's a, it's a J. Jill sweatshirt. It went out first class for twelve ninety nine, so I got about 10 bucks for it. Uh, this one we spent... Probably $2 on. So not, not a horrible sale. <clears throat> These just went this morning. Um, we got eighteen ninety nine for them. And uh, they were on sale from uh, 20 because I put all my jeans up for $20. Um, it doesn't sound right though. I think I might have got sixteen ninety nine. But anyway, they, they sold and we, we got 10 bucks for the jeans themselves. They were 4X, just my size. Uh, the elastic band. The elastic band, just my size, seemed to sell really well, especially the bigger the better. Just like women. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the site that we have our hard goods on. And uh, this is called Dreams for My Father, Story of Race and Inheritance by Barack Obama, former president of the United States. This was actually written, a book that came up before he was president. It says somewhere on here the from Senator Obama. Um, which at that time, I don't think anybody would have known who well, he was, but now that he's president. It was an audiobook on CD, and it was read by him, so people... And it was still brand new as well. So 1383 for that one. Uh, this one sold. I took a best offer of 11. And uh, sold yesterday. Went out today. Um, you know, it's a Blu-ray, and it was my personal copy that I bought, because at one time I wanted to have all the uh, Star Trek's on disc, but... I've kind of given up on that because there's so many of them. And we can watch them on Netflix and so forth. Last one, I just uh, put this one up last night as well. Um, actually, I took the pictures of it yesterday. And I just quickly did the listings for uh, the uh, DVD because um, I had to run and get pan for work and I just wanted to get these up right away. Uh, this sold for $24. And. Uh, not sure it's over. Um, good condition. I don't know if it has slipcover or not, but mine, I didn't get a slipcover with it, so I sold it as it was. You can see the pictures of it there. Pretty good. The discs are in good shape. It looks good. And um, There was others up there selling for 17 20 25 and I think they're going for 30 So I kind of put mine in the middle for 24 and it sold right away. I also have Season 4 up for uh, 55 It hasn't sold yet. See, it's right here. It has four views. It has two watchers already, just from last night. Also, I have a Dark Shadows one up there as well. Um, but that's all the stuff. Uh, the Packer shirt's going to go up Monday because they bought it too late. And um, that's all for now. I think I'm probably going to do uh, some more work here. I got that little bit there to list. But I just got all that to. Uh, tag and photograph so that'll be my next project and I'll probably do the whole video that may or may not come before or after this so that's it for now later well YouTube here's uh, the salt video that I've been promising all day finally got around to doing it um, trying to get the camera so you can see the words there we go uh, this is a bugle boy men's top we sold this on uh, the 10th 
Um, today is the 12th. I'm going to last couple days of sales uh, to show what we sold. Uh, we sold this for $16.71 with free shipping. So, of course, you had to take about $4 off that because it was a heavy shirt. It was a nice looking shirt. Um, I just got this one listed, um, but the day before it sold. So, it's kind of a quick sale there. And that was one of the better ones. Oh, so, that'll go away. There we go. I'm not sure why it's not changing. Oh, because they closed last one. The wrong one, that's why. Yeah, anyway. Uh, this is another shirt that's a Nike Dry Fit. Um, it says it sold for $12.99, which it actually sold for for 9 So we didn't get a lot for it, but it was another quick one I just put up and it sold almost right away. This one we sold for $18.19. It's a Adidas blue hoodie. Um, we just had to start 6 30 from shipping off of that total. And then... Uh, that's what we got for that. It was a nice hoodie. It's a little light in these pictures, a little bluer than that actually. But it was still a good sale for us. One of the better ones for today. Uh, this one we got um, nine. Was it nine? Yeah, nine dollars for it. Uh, I had this one forever. I sold it twice. Never got paid for. Finally sold. It's a Florida University hoodie. This one I'm waiting for them to pay for. It was sold this morning uh, for eleven nineteen. Actually, it sold for nine. Now that I think about it, and I just want to sell because it's a Christmas shirt and Christmas is getting close, and I wanted to get you know, it's old. Okay, these were on our other account that sells anything that's not closed. Um, which actually is not a bad name. <laughs> um, we call it this right now, but I might change the name to it. Anyway, um, these were uh, one of many um things of ink that I purchased from Goodwill for three fifty. I sold this one for actually for eight fifty, which is one of the more expensive ones. I sold this one for seven, and I sold these two for fourteen, and I sold this last one for seven, and they were pretty much all to the same person. Uh, so we got a lot, we saved a lot of shipping by sending them all to the same person today. Or yesterday actually, uh, this one sold today, and I can't find it. Um. I don't know what happened to it. It was supposed to be in bin K, which is why we had the K at the end there. But for some reason, I went to bin K and just wasn't there. Um, I might check another one. We do have a bin called K1, so it might be in there. I might have missed uh, the label for it. I don't usually sell clothes on this site because it's pretty much, like I said, it's anything but clothes. But this was up there since summertime, and it finally sold. If I can't find it, it was only a $5 sale, but I'd hate to not sell something to somebody. Because, uh, you know... We do have a pretty good feedback on here. All positives, no negatives so far. I don't want to get one. But that's that one. And I got one more down here. One more store, actually. This is the uh, store that um, Pam has her name on. And uh, this sold just a few minutes ago. And we didn't pay for it. It's called This Is My Grandma Costume. We actually put this up for October. Um, it was one of the few Halloween items that we put up. And uh, we never sold any of the Halloween items during Halloween. Yeah. But this one sold today. I'm going to guess it's probably... These pictures are horrible. But uh, it's probably for um, a gag gift for somebody that's becoming a grandma this year. Or somebody just is a grandma and wanted to share it says that. Um, I noticed that when I did the pictures here that I should have probably looked at them before I put them up there because a lot of them are really need to be cropped badly. But it's still sold. <laughs> uh, they were cropped badly as Rob. And uh, before.